Uh, hi, Skate Point. My name is Julio. Uh, you've heard my reviews, you've heard my little chit chats in here and there by now. Uh, today, I will be discussing my first impressions with the Vida Scopa Nacionale. Nacionale, I really don't know how to pronounce it and I'm butchering it for sure. This is an Adidas skate capsule shoe. As you see, Adidas for skateboarding. This shoe caught my attention because it looks like a soccer shoe and I like the colors. And again, I've been on a hit where I've been trying to skate colorful shoes, something that's different from the boring colored shoes that I usually skate. It doesn't have tongue centering straps, which I usually am a fan of, but it has not one, but two of those on centering loops and this shoe has this weird leather rubber kind of toe cap thing then the shoe is suede and it features more of that weird rubber material with the three stripes here and as you can see there's some mesh underneath it and it's covered by that plastic thing um, the shoe is very cushiony uh, it's actually surprisingly supportive i had the shoes with my arches and these shoes have a good amount of arch support and i love it i've been walking in them for a little bit and maybe have had a little earlier of a session and I skated a little bit earlier right now and so far I am liking these shoes they're decently weight they're not super heavy and they're not super light they feature this super thin Adidas insole but honestly I don't have any complaints but the heel is definitely much higher than the toe area so that gives it kind of a little bit of arch support um, it has this weird thing where your Achilles goes so my Achilles felt locked in then the tongue itself is cut in this weird way to just, just to better fit your foot. And honestly, I think it makes a world of a difference and this makes it a much better shoe. Um, like I said, this shoe is a cupsole. It has this nice gum colorway, which is different. Um, I don't think I've skated a shoe that didn't have a waffle cup or the usual like pattern. It's a different type of sole that I'm used to seeing. I like the little hint of that like yellow greenish neon that is also present here and here. Um, this is an Adidas skate shoe again, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated as this shoe wears down. Hi everyone, so this is my last uh, guest words on the Adidas Copa Nacionale. The shoe overall was great. Uh, I can't complain, it has an excellent flick. The toe is really nicely done. It definitely stretched out a little. I really loved how my heel felt locked in with this little higher part. It was also kind of easier to grab onto this with this little tab thing and just kind of get my foot in there. The lace did shift a little, but it wasn't too overwhelming. At least I didn't notice because I was too busy on other things. I didn't give any Ollie holes, which surprised me because I figured I'd get more wear. Um, but I guess the shoe kind of held up or I at least wasn't making that many Ollies. I didn't surprisingly blow through this, but I guarantee you that if you're sticking to kick flips, you're going to blow through this relatively quickly. Um, the shoe still has a great flick and it's just kind of reliable. I feel like every time I flick, I can get the board to flip unless I do that weird like ghost pop thing where you just kind of go for the trick and your feet go everywhere and the board just stays flat and comes up with you a little. But other than that, I think the shoe was kind of great. Uh, I spent more time doing heel flips than anything. Well, flick wise on my flicking foot and I didn't have any problems with that. Uh, the board feel got better as I went along. The shoe has an interesting pattern where it's, the, where it's these three different like pattern things. I didn't really feel like I worried in as much. I just kind of felt like at one point, like it broke in better. And you know, it was a wear, but there's still a lot of grip left and there's still so much life left in these shoes, but I gotta go review something else. I can't just spend all the time here on this one shoe. But yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, the grip was pretty really decent. I, I can't really complain about it. Honestly, I, I like this shoe. It's a great shoe. I, I recommend it. it. It feels good to skate this shoe. I can definitely see it not being for everyone. Um, I thought the support was okay. It wasn't too bad. It's just kind of leaning on the fact that the heel definitely sits higher than the forefoot. Um, I feel like you can just kind of see it from the design itself. It kind of sums down. You know, you're going to get a great flick. It's great. I think one of the most uh, consuming shoes per se, or at least where I spent most of my time was learning Impossible. Um, it's kind of interesting to see how that trick wore out this shoe. This is my back foot, my left foot. Uh, I tried wrapping it. I rolled my ankle twice. I don't blame the shoe, I blame myself just because it's a relatively trick and you land forward and I am horrendous at skateboarding. Um, I got some wear on the inside of the shoe, there's some scratching on this. Uh, it's leather but it feels like a very plasticky top layer on top of the leather but I feel like it lasts long but I think it's just the positioning and how low this sits in your foot. I think that this is definitely something that you're going to blow through quickly. Uh, the shoe isn't the most breathable, but I didn't complain about it. At least I, maybe it's my foot being weird and a mutant, uh, but I thought the shoe was fine. Uh, definitely a great shoe. Uh, I can't really complain much. The only things I guess I could complain about this to Adidas would be just throw a tongue centering straps in this. Definitely maybe pull this panel a little bit back further. Other than that, 
toe has a shape that I like, which is a bit on the pointier side. I have a slightly wider foot, so it definitely makes a difference. And it did eventually stretch out, so I can't really complain about that that much. I feel like the shoe was decent, it was comfortable. My dad owns a pair, he loves them. And this is the pair I skated. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope if you get the chance to skate the shoe, you have as much time and as much fun as I did. Again, just maybe just start off by like shoe gooing this edge because it's gonna wear out. There isn't many panels to blow out because this is pulled too back, but I think it's gonna be a great shoe. Thank you for watching and this has been Skate Punk. We'll see you later.